Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Aid Zinni here. And today I'm going to be discussing what I'll be reviewing next year. And um yeah, there's a lot of figures that I really want to get in review for next year. I probably won't go over every single figure that I'm getting because there's like 30 of them alone on this screen right now. Well, almost 30 of them alone that I'm trying to get, you know, for next year. So hopefully this video won't be too long. So I'm going to try to take my time and not to rush through everything that I got to say about every one of these figures. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start with the most recent one, which is the SH Figure Arts Makima that was just announced not too long ago. And well, it was already announced, but we got more promo pics. This is the one that they showed off the rich originally. But um, yeah, we got her in the squatting position and and all that. So yeah, I actually didn't expect her to come with this. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the collectors gonna be gonna be having fun with that one. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But other than that, the figure looks pretty good. I'm still a little concerned. How the hip joint is gonna operate and i commented this on my figure collection by the way about how some of the um some of the images have like like this one like how the hip joint just not really joint but like how the hip piece is made proportionally just look kind of off most likely whoever took this they didn't adjust it correctly so that's why it looks all gappy right here but other than that the figure looks really good the funny thing i realized about this figure is that the figma one has like double joints but bandai tamashii nations decided to win with the single joints just like what you normally see from a figma and so yeah i thought that was kind of funny i'm aside from this piece i'm a little concerned about um it looks pretty good and a lot of people complaining that she's not really caked up i mean if you if you if you just look at the illustrations or even watch the anime she she, she wasn't like that bro she just wasn't just yeah <laughs> she, she was never like that but um it like like i think it looks anime accurate enough if you ask me and i know another complaint that people had was the knees looked a little too long but in some pics it looks short but it picks like these, it does make it look a little longer. I'm assuming it has like a soft crotch piece somewhere. Well, not somewhere, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that is the case. And they also, it looks like they're using the type one hips. Like what they used on the Dragon Ball figures back in the day, excuse me. Sorry, though was a little dry. But um, yeah, it looks really good for the most part. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting this along with Denji, of course. So yeah, I was I was expecting them to announce something regarding Makuma this year, but I was not expecting them to give them to give her this the soft good jacket. I, I was honest, I was honestly expecting you know to come, you know the Figma to come with that, but Bandai is making it. The soft good doesn't look the best, in my opinion. It does look cheap. But I still think it's really cool that they decided to add that in there. So that's definitely a plus. And it, it, there's a chance that it might be cheaper too than the Figma. Obviously. I can do see her costing maybe about maybe 70 or 80. And I don't know how much the Figma's going for. I think probably a little over. A little over that. Like Figma these days are are, are just straight up expensive. I'm, I'm not a Figma hater by the way. I, I like Figma a lot too. It's just that. I cannot afford their stuff anymore. I just can't. The most recent Figma I've gotten was actually the Figma Rider 2.0 from um, Face Day Night. And I've been trying to get that one for a whole year. And there's some other ones I'm trying to get too, like the Figma um, Yo from Shaman King and also On. And also Ana from Shaman King as well. I probably won't review those. And also, I forgot to open the screen, but. I'm also looking forward to getting the Thorfinn figure, so I'm definitely going to review that too. But yeah, Figma these days is just too expensive, and also some of their stuff is going for exclusives now, which I think is a bad idea. Especially the Thorfinn one, I don't know why they just couldn't 
at least that as a standard figure it's kind of a bit of a ripoff to be honest because like he doesn't come with a lot of faces and all that but anyway i'm not i'm not talking about him yet but this makama does look really good by figure arts and the big one looks pretty good too so to me in my opinion you can go either way you can you know you buy the figma or the figure arts so i'm just gonna leave it at that another figure i'm really excited about getting from the figure arts line is toto when they first announced him i was hyped to finally get toto and this looks really good i'm i'm pretty dis i'm disappointed that they didn't announce any other characters that they was gonna do in this line i really hope they was gonna do that maybe i, I was hoping that they, they was at least gonna announce like maybe a villain or two maybe not in me or maki or someone like that but i'm just happy that i got one of the characters that i want in this line and um yeah hopefully i get him by next year along with the other figures i'm planning to review i'm not gonna say what day or what month because i i like collecting and reviewing at my own pace so but he will be coming up next year trust me i just don't know when but um i was just buying him and reviewing whenever doing that year so yeah he looks pretty dope he's a bit more on the expensive side he's about 70 i think i feel like he definitely could have been 50 because it doesn't seem like he comes come with a lot but he looks really dope he also come with um this keychain thingy that has like a picture of yuji and also um his favorite artist like his favorite idol artist it'd be kind of cool if it came with like an alternative piece for that but i mean you probably can't even see it anyway so it's fine so yeah this one looks pretty dope and um sticking with figure arts i'm definitely looking forward to getting this the sc's figure arts 2b from near automata now this is the one from the anime which i haven't seen yet because i'm still in the middle of playing the game but this looks pretty good i feel like her head is a little too big though but again like this is they stick in the design from the anime from what i'm seeing i'm still buy it because i missed out on the bring arts version i heard some people got some issues with that anyway so i'm really glad that bandai to my generations decided to a you know decided to release their you know at least like more of a slightly affordable version compared to the bring arts and it seemed like her mask can come off too so yeah she looks pretty dope overall i just i just wish they could just straighten down the head just a little bit just a little bit and i feel like it would be a solid figure but it already looks solid and um i'll i have 9s on the window but i'm looking forward to getting him too and his mask is also removable yeah it's also removable i don't know if this is like the only face that he comes with but i'm pretty sure he'll come with others and also come with the um the pod too so yeah i mean looking forward to getting these two and this is one i've been trying to get for years now i know this is not necessarily a new figure but this is more of like a re-release and it's the sh figure arts bruce lee and i'm really excited about getting this one for those who don't know this is for like um like his death anniversary his fifth year death anniversary even though it passed like months ago but we're getting it about um i think around january or february between those two months so i missed out on the original release but this one seems like it's gonna be worth it since he comes with the um the display stand so um i'm definitely looking forward to in reviewing getting this guy and yeah i know this is not really an anime type of figure it's most of the stuff i buy is from like anime and video games but um i like bruce lee he was dope so um i'm definitely looking forward to getting this and reviewing it and hopefully it does well on my channel once i do review it so sticking with figure arts um this is another figure like two figures that you guys expect me to review next year as well and it's the essence figure arts Aiguri and Joseria from Hills Paradise and I already got Gavin Mauro I already reviewed him on the channel I haven't got these two yet because I just missed out on the pre-orders I'm trying to get them from Solar Japan because that's the only website 
um i feel like i can get them somewhat early and these two already came out so i just haven't got my hands on them yet but um i might be pretty late on these two i'm not gonna lie but um yeah with my next check i'm definitely gonna buy at least one of them for sure also i forgot to mention they are doing the Yu Yu Hakusho line. So you guys are definitely looking forward to be reviewing those figures. Because I, I love Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, I've been wanting Bandai to my stations to do a Yu Yu Hakusho line for years. And I'm talking for years. Of, like, like ever since I first got into the line, I've been wanting them to do Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, it's, it's the anime like it's it, it's it's those it's that series that I've been wanting them to do a figure line longer than any anime line. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting those. I was hype, forgot to put that in the video. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the Yu Yu Hakusho line. That's for sure. You expect me to review every single one of those guys: Yusuke, Kurobawa, Kurema, like whoever they're gonna release. I'm definitely gonna review it. So yeah. So taking a little break from figure arts, we are getting the 1 slash 12 Junbei figure from Ninja Scroll. Now this one I think is really interesting because this is not really by a Japanese manufacturer company. It's done by an American company named Farouche that that wants a YouTube channel. And they make their own figures too. Like if you guys are familiar with the the um the articulated icon figures. Um, despite that kind of articulation, I haven't got any of those figures, but I really want to because I got some sick photography pics um, with like their ninjas and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get one of them. I probably won't review them, but you will see, you know, pictures of them when I upload them on my figure collection. But this figure looks really dope. This is the only pick I have right now, but he's also available for pre-order from, um, for Big Bad Toy Store, so definitely looking forward to getting that. And also, uh, what's her name? Sorry, I, I keep forgetting her name. It's also Kaguru. I believe, I, I don't know how long this pick been out, but this looks pretty good too. And they're a little expensive though, so hopefully the articulation is good. I mean, it looks good, but um, I hope the skirt piece won't get in the way for the articulation i hope that's like a softer plastic right there but these two figures look ooh, excuse me these figures look really good can't wait to review these on the channel too and sticking with domestic figures these are the two figures i'm really excited about getting and it's the jada toys cyberpunk edge one of figures now when they first announced this i was shocked like, I for sure thought Max Factory was gonna make a big one of these two. But they didn't even bother. I know I know they like Nandroids of these two. And also the pop-up parade. But I was definitely expecting a big one of these two. Um, I was hoping at least for a figure arts one too, but I wasn't really expecting them to make those two anyway, because they how backlog they are with like other anime and stuff like that. But I was for sure thought it was gonna be Figma. But with Jada Toys. It caught me off guard. Now, this is the new um, prototype picks that they just show off on the Toy Migos channel. And um, this 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 the screen this screenshot I took by myself and uploaded here, by the way. So, yeah, these look way better than the initial prototype pictures that they that they showed off like a few months ago. This, especially Lucy, like David, he looked all right, but Lucy, she looked very off but in this newer pick this definitely looks like her this definitely looks like lucy like just straight out of the anime so yeah i can definitely see these be a bit more on the pricier side they might be a bit more expensive than the, um, the street fighter line i can't really see them going that much no more than probably like 35 ish dollars like probably like 35 or 40 depending on where you get get them from if you get them from like big bad toy store um it might be a bit more expensive there but i'm definitely looking forward to getting these two like i'm, I'm really excited the, they also got cloth as well so that's really nice so yeah i can't wait to get these man 
And speaking of Jada Toys, I'm. You guys are also looking for. You guys are also expecting me to view Ken sometime next year. He already came out this year. Like Toy, like one of the members of Toy Migos already reviewed this guy, and um, the articulation is just about as the same as Wii U. So I'm not really expecting much on this release, but I'm still expecting it to be really damn good. So this is another figure that you are expecting me to view sometime next year. Well, this one is more of a model kit, but it's still an action figure. You're just putting everything together. So I'm putting it in the category. And it's the Fantasy Girls Forest Summer Vivine Heiha or Haya. I think it's pronounced as Heiha. But this is what I'm looking forward to getting. And I have my eye on this line for quite a bit now. The Fantasy Girl um, series. Like the well, this is based off this character had a figure had a model kit before. And it's from like the cyber cyber forest line that's also by the same company it's, it's new it's nuke matrix by the way that's the name of the company if i can you know stop having these brain farts or whatever but um yeah this figure looks really good i'm looking forward to getting this and building this and she looks she looks she just looks really nice man um like you can see for herself like she like she come with like different types of bikinis um, she's going with like this big ass water gun <laughs> that um that's similar to um the other figure line um i believe is the snail is the snail shell figure yeah like the um the milk tea girl like it, it looks somewhat similar to that or at least it kind of reminds me of that but this figure looks really good i already pre-ordered this from tokyo taco mode um about like a week or two ago so they already took my money so all i gotta do now is just wait and it will be coming out of japan sometime next year or like i believe around january like early january like i already said i already pre-ordered it but i won't be getting this and reviewing this until a little bit later because um i ordered it but it's getting shipped by boat so i'm not really expecting to get get this one anytime soon and if you guys live in chicago you know how crazy the weather gets during that time between like january and february with all the snow and blizzards and stuff like that so i'm not expecting this i'm not really expecting to get this that soon because of that so if it doesn't happen next year then that'll be great because i get the figure earlier but i'm thinking a bit more realistically i won't i probably won't get this that soon the latest i can see myself getting this or when it's arrived to my doorstep is probably like around late february or early march or something like that between those two months because i can't see this coming in january unless the ecosystem doesn't decide to give us no then i can definitely see this coming early but it, especially if it's getting shipped by boat because like Getting stuff shipped by boat take, usually takes about like one to three months. So, yeah, but either way, I'm really excited about getting this one. It looks like a lot of fun and she looks really poseable too. Like she looks like she's gonna have like a lot of articulation. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting this. So the last figure you guys are expecting me to review, like, like there's plenty of other figures that I am planning to review next year, but I don't want this video to be too long. I've already been talking for like 18 minutes, but it is the NECA Raphael from The Last Ronin. This is like a really dope figure. I, It just came out today, I believe, or just got released today on Best Buy. I didn't buy this from Best Buy, by the way. I bought it from um, the Comet Toys. And they don't ship on a holiday, so I most likely won't be getting this until like a little bit after the holiday. This might be one of the first figures I'm going to review the start of next year so i probably won't have any more figure reviews up after um i did like the jada toy street fighter line which i've been trying to get for months now so those might be the last reviews but if this if this comes out if this comes to my doorstep sooner then this will definitely be the last figure i'll review like this year until like the new year hits around but 
it might not come until like during the new year so this can go either way so i might be getting it next week i probably won't so if i do end up getting it a little sooner i'm definitely going to drop the view on it before the new year hits if not then expect it is somewhere around like maybe like the first day maybe like the first day of the new year so for now that's about it just to give you guys some ideas what i'll be reviewing next year there's there are way more figures that i am planning to review so make sure you stay tuned to that these are just one of the few that i'm just showing off like like trust me what i've already shown you guys in the video that i'm about to cover is only the tip of the iceberg so i am planning to review much more than i showed off here and just for now i don't want this video to be too long but um i might post i might post some other figures i'm looking forward to getting or like stuff you are expecting to review next year or probably on my instagram i'll probably like list all the other figures that i have had the chance to put in this video so if you guys don't follow me on instagram definitely follow me on instagram to you know to see whatever i be posting on there if you guys can like my post too i appreciate that because like my, my page is dry as hell right now it's dry as the freaking desert so 10 likes on one of my posts wouldn't hurt me i guess but anyway so um i'm done rambling that's just a little taste of what uh what's what's to come next year on the channel regarding figure views and next time i might do like a live stream of like this type of stuff i feel like it's much better doing live streams and discussing stuff that that i'll be getting and figure and you know like in terms of like figures instead of like making these videos because i feel like it's a little time consuming well that's also time consuming but you know i just feel like it'd be a better i feel like it'd be better if i just live streamed it but the computer i currently have right now can't handle um live streaming so um i'll probably do that sometime next year but anyway this has been i zenny hope you all have a great and safe day and i will be seeing you guys in the next one peace